Hey folks, I'm out here in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video without it jerking around too much, but uh, there's a. I see a lot of gardening videos on YouTube, and uh, not a whole lot that uh, 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 that uh, helps people with their plants when they mulch with a lot of wood mulch, pine needle mulch. Uh, uh, and the, what, the thing that happens with these mulches are uh, is that it acidifies the ground and uh, the, the title of this one will be to lime or not to lime that is the question and the question is do I need to lime my soil well first off uh, it says uh, uh, this is uh, the hydrated lime and I don't know if you can see it there Let's see if I can Get it, and it says a hydrated lime that helps reduce soil acidity. Now, I grew up using lime, and it's second nature for me. I see a plant, I don't necessarily need one of these, but uh, this is probably the easiest and cheapest way to uh, check for your soil pH. And uh, there's some things you need to consider with pH. Uh, uh, is uh, what does the plant like? Blueberries, you want acid ground. You want your wood mulches and uh, and pine needles or oak. Or you don't want to use maple. Uh, <coughs> but uh, uh, one of these meters, uh, there's one. I had two before and I left them in the greenhouse here and the humidity in here destroyed them. But this one was uh, almost $20. <coughs> But I, I'll show, uh, I'm going to pause it and we'll look down here and I'll show you a, a soil that uh, in my greenhouse it needs uh, some lime when I get it a chance to put it on. Here we're looking at the meter and it, at this particular place it says it is uh, between 5 and 6. And I've had some that was down between 4 and 5 in here. Uh, so it, definitely for... Uh, uh, plants like, you know, beans and and uh, and uh, and your uh, brassicas, uh, they like lime ground, and they particularly grow well in places like Lancaster County. Why? Because there's limestone. It's limestone. It's the most productive uh, soil in unirrigated soil in the world. So they taught us in ag class when I was in school. Another thing that. Uh, I had some tomatoes that were very, very yellow, and uh, did a check on the pH, and it was uh, it was very, very high. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, very, very low. The pH was acidic. And tomatoes, uh, if you have blossom end rot, uh, you'll want to uh, get calcium uh, to them, and you can get calcium from eggshells. But if your soil's acidic, uh, why not use hydrated lime? Why hydrated over pulverized? Hydrated lime will go to work right away. Uh, it doesn't wait. It's a, and if for it's not a chemical. It's rock dust. And uh, they the old timers used to take uh, wood or coal and stack it into. They used to be all over our area here in the sides of hills. And. Uh, uh, of where they had this stone, it looks almost like a foundry, and they would put limestone and some sort of combustible material, and they called it burnt lime. And you probably heard of that. Well, it's just rock dust. It's uh, and it's burnt lime was lime that been superheated. They poured water on it, turned to a powder, and uh, put it on the fields. And uh, well, clover and your uh, peanuts and things like that. Well, it likes that kind of thing. Uh, blossom end rot on your tomatoes and peppers, well, lime will work if your pH is way low. What to do if your pH isn't way low and you need calcium? Well, you can use gypsum, uh, agricultural grade gypsum. You don't want something with formaldehyde in or chemicals like from drywall. Uh, yeah, drywall is gypsum, but uh, you know, there's things oftentimes to keep it from molding that you're not going to want. Uh, so you can get agricultural grade uh, gypsum and what is that? Well it's lime that they burn with coal in these power plants 
and the byproduct is that it the acidity from the cool neutralizes the alkalinity from the uh, lime and they come up with a medium uh, uh, what is considered base uh, product and it's high in calcium and that will help your soil mulches that are alkaline almond shells are alkaline you got high pH or a very high acidity and you have plants that you need low acidity you can mulch them with almond shells uh, uh, there's probably other things, but that's the only one I know of because I lived I lived in Hershey, Pennsylvania for a while, oh, a couple of years, and uh, and found out about the the almond shells that the factory sells for mulch. Hey, uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, you know, uh, and if you got plants that are yellowing, and you have them mulched with a, an acidic mulch, well, get yourself one of these pH testers. There's other pH tests, but. Uh, this is probably the simplest. You need to keep a little piece of sandpaper or one of those green roughing pads the, the, to, uh, to uh, emery the electrode. They corrode and you won't get a proper reading. The soil has to have be moist. And you want to use water that's somewhat base because you don't want to change mess up your reading by pouring either acid water that's highly acidic on it or a water that's highly or is very low in oh no the acid is low uh, well anyway water that's acidic or alkaline uh, you know what I mean hey thanks for watching may the Lord bless happy gardening